G'day. Sitting down here by the river, the Brisbane River. And uh, you can see the city hopper there going out from Holman Street Wharf. And I'm sitting down on the balcony of the Jazz Club. And today we're reading another psalm. Psalm 51 from the NIV. Fabulous psalm. Fabulous psalm. For the director of music, that's appropriate, down here at the Jazz Club. <laughs> A psalm of David when the prophet Nathan came to him after David had committed adultery with Bathsheba. Verse 1. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion. Blot out my transgression. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Oh, he is burdened. He is burdened with the weight of sin on him. Verse 3. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. You are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Verse 7. Cleanse me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. He's feeling the weight of guilt and shame and he feels that his bones have been crushed by the Lord. Verse 10. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Oh, this is a plea. He knows what a clean heart is like. He knows what a steadfast spirit in him is like. And he's saying, renew it, Lord, renew a steadfast spirit in me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Oh, show, that's so powerful. He knows what the joy of salvation is like and he's saying, Lord, restore that to me and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, so that sinners will turn back to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, you who are my God, my Saviour. And my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in the sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. You, God, will not despise. May it please you to prosper Zion, to build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in the sacrifices of the righteous, in burnt offerings offered whole, then bulls will be offered on your altar. Wow, there is a very broken man. He sinned, he's committed adultery with Bathsheba, and he's coming before God begging forgiveness, begging the Lord to lift the weight of guilt and shame from him so that he might have the joy of his salvation back again. Such a powerful 
powerful story. And as you as you look at the story of David, and you see how he was just like you and I. We're born with sin in us from Adam. Ever since Adam, we have sinned. It's part of our human nature to fall short of the glory of God. But David knew how to come to the Father, come to God, and beg forgiveness. Restore a to me the joy of your salvation, he says, and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. He knew about the Holy Spirit. He knew when he was right with God and how God would lead him and guide him and comfort him and strengthen him. And he, he was a man after God's own heart. And here he is confessing his sins and asking the Lord to cleanse him. Here we see a little boat going down the river. So there we are, Psalm 51. You get into the Word, get into the Psalms, read them yourself and allow God to speak to you through His powerful and mighty Word. See you later. Have a great day.